Hello everyone, my name is Lanzo90, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance. Here our gear. Before we move onward. I have been making pretty fast progress in the game. It's gonna be too much longer before we catch up to where I was. I will greatly look forward to that. Things all muddy. Kind of annoyed we lost so much uh, armor durability though in that those fights. You'd think they'd repair it for us. Good health to you. They restored our health and stamina after the fight. Our gambeson is just completely fucked. Let's talk about the price. Aye. For Taylor, your clothes are kind of fucked up. Uh, twenty-five. Are we agreed? Well, now a little more, and we'll shake on it. Very well, I agree. Hey, my armor's fixed, or my clothes are fixed. It's funny that they they repaired instantly during the dialogue. <laughs> Jesus Christ, be praised. Okay. Ah, not as bad as I was thinking. Let's talk about the price. Aye. Seventeen five. Prefer to pay fifteen five. What about this? Well now, a little more and we'll shake on it. That's a sum I can live with. And everything. Sell the van braces. I can sell a couple of the arrows. Arrows and the hunting bow. Let's see, uh, the van braces I can sell here. Can't remember where we can sell the bow. Maybe the weaponsmith? I don't think so. I think we have to sell it elsewhere. Sell. Looks like the cumin van braces are better. 11 11 4 versus 10 10 4, yeah. So the regular ones. Can we do something about the price? Naturally. Naturally. Can you give me 62 for it? It's you. That's better. Drop it a bit more, and we'll call it a deal. Very well, I agree. Yeah, we're pretty much going to sell anything extra we end up with, because... Uh, as we saw before, our inventory space is not that good. I wonder if we got any skill points from fighting? Did. Oh wait, this is our, our main level leveled up, actually. Uh, let's go with the Insomniac. Increases the time you you can do without sleep. Your energy levels falls one quarter more slowly. Thought I had already taken that, but perhaps not. You actually level up Sword, which I didn't do in my other playthrough either. This is weird. This character is leveling up faster, even though he hasn't been playing as long. It's kind of weird. Blunt Strike. Center left, right. Stab slash slash. Zorn out wraith strike. Slash slash slash. Sure. 
slash slash stat. That'll be a little easier to do. Slash slash stab. But yeah, my other character didn't have that, and he got way more fights than this one. I'm kind of confused. I am fairly confused. Going up here because I think the Huntsman sells the bows. Please let me talk. What? Please let me talk to you. Good health to you, sir. Uh, trade. Sell. Come on, this guy will take anything. Take the arrows. Oops. Take them all. Camp on hunting bow. A better bow from him, but we can't even really use bows, so I don't think there's any point of trying. Let's check basket. Close the deal. I'd like to discuss the price. Naturally. Naturally. Give me eighty-five. Is this enough? That's better. Drop it a bit more, and we'll call it a deal. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Let's see. Let's see, bailiff. What's the time of day? I'm kind of getting to the end of things. I might be able to wrap things up pretty quickly here. I just need one second to reply to someone. Trying to do this now. I think I waited a day last time, but I'd like to try to get everything knocked out all in quick succession here. I have to be careful with the timing though, so I'm gonna save it. I don't wanna miss it if I if I start it and I have to get distracted at some point. Bailiff, where are you? There we go. Other times I talk to him, he was just sitting at his desk. Jesus He's... Christ be praised. <laughs> you seem kind of bored there, buddy. Uh, I'm going to bailiff I'm service. Put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzik appointed. Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, David. You're certainly bold. I like that. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? Yep. Your hands translate to hand-to-hand -hand combat. The captain doesn't like me, I never broke a sweat. It was quite an ordeal. I have. He trained me and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway... This guy's voice is kind of out of place, too. Guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. All right, we'll come back to learn how to read later and all that good stuff. Take a quick reply.
play again. Alright. We'll get our gear. Even though we already have, we're wearing like everything that we need already, but free loot. Just hoping we can get back to Nightingale before 1900 hours. So that we can get all this questing done all in one day. Set a speed run record, maybe. <laughs> nah, I'm sure people have already done that quicker. Far, far quicker than I could ever hope to dream of. Question is, could they do it with still beating that first combat that you're never supposed to win? The answer is no. I was told to pick up a kit here. I'd say there's not much room for improvement. You already look as good as any vassal, but your wish is my command. <laughs> if my memory serves, guess it's because my all my equipment's repaired. A club. That's all. You want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Are you serious? Serious? Oh, shit, we're overburdened. It's kind of annoying when we're in a hurry. The game seems better. I have to go try to sell this off real quick because. I cannot go quick enough. Be wondering, I could go up to the Huntsman and sell it because we saw that he would take anything, but I noticed his uh, his overall money value is pretty low. It's only he has too much more left for us. I think the tr the, the default trader will take it all. Make things a little bit easier. So slow. Help me. I'm too slow. Jesus Christ be praised. Jesus Christ be praised. Trade. Not selling shard. We'll sell the common basket. Like padded armor. I think the padded quick yeah, pad quick worse than what we got. Why are we still overburdened though? Sell the sweet pancake. Sell the marigolds. Oops. Oh, maybe it doesn't go until we uh confirm the deal. But let's go ahead and sell all the shit that we don't need. I don't even need the spade anymore. I don't know why I'm carrying the spade around. Basket. Deal. Can we do something about the price? Naturally. Naturally. Give me fifty. Are we agreed? We are getting there. Just drop the price a bit more. Okay. I'll go for that. All right. Now we can run again. Curious how much wear and tear we've taken just from walking around. We're already taking two percent to our boots. It's kind of annoying. I guess that's the goal of getting a uh, a horse, so you don't have to worry about that nonsense. Shit, where's Nightingale? Last time I met him, he was sitting at that stump. Better save it in case we can't find him. That's how it could be. Yeah, it is. Alright. Handle them down. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Uh, the game saved is stuck on the screen. I'm Nightingale. 
Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, That's one problem with the uh, she turned up with Captain the game saving mods. Sometimes that happens. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I um, I thanked her. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So, how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? What to serve Sir Radzik? I wanted to enter the service of Sir Radzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Sir Radzig must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns. To make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. This is our church, St. Matthew's. Let's see, we're halfway through the game. Or if halfway through the recording. Just trying to decide if I want to try to reload the game. Eh, no. The intro is really long. It's unskippable, so. Or. The game just takes a while to load, so I don't really want to do it. Unless I have to live with the game saved on there for now. He phased out of existence there. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lypa, our masters. The gravedigger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. Burned to ashes by Sigismund's horde. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. We don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an executioner too, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith lives here. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. If you won't go to the church, go back to your people. The watch. I'm not big enough for you. What's all this nonsense? What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares. Her name is Jane. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. How's she bothering you, master? You have the right to beg here, Jane. Do you call yourself a Christian armor? Drive the beggar away. She'll let her stay, master armor. Sort it out between you. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armour? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might <laughs> not. Did you get any alms or not? Yes. From the Armourer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? Both contribute to the poor, Jane. We're both good Christians, aren't we? We should each give something to the poor soul. And what then? Then Jane will be on her way. Immediately. King Solomon now, are you, lad? Fine. Fine, have it your way. God bless you, and, and you too, citizen. I won't be a nuisance no more, really. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus, you're as bad as each other. I don't think we actually lost any gold for that. Fucking <laughs> game and the collision stuff. Quite silly sometimes. Old neighbors are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. 
<laughs> so, you should be thankful to Sir Hanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be let anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some Very fools merciful. are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally have the feast over to the young lord, home was Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans' father, a turd. Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it. First to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow. The same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. And we're walking. And you're walking. And you're walking. An episode of Dexter's Laboratory with the B and D. And you're walking, and you're walking. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. Game save thing on the screen is annoying. I wonder if it's in-game punishment for using the mod. Probably not, it's probably just a glitch. Let's probably actually check and see if the mod's updated. It might. It might be. We've also got the baker's shop here, and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. I don't know if there's like multiple people you could try to romance or not. Market Square, the Trader's Tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. I didn't get the impression that it might only be Teresa. I could be wrong, I never figured it out yet. Let's move along to the inner bailey. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. <laughs> Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Ah, everyone. If Sir Hanush saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. Isn't that a church? Just one moment. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. The... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Skalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. Here! Dope music. Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sassau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed, Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. 
It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. Um, do all right. <laughs> so I screenshot that actually. That's good. And you're walking, and you're walking. God be with you, Benesh. How goes it? Well enough, thank you, girl. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. So where is he? In the tavern. Uh, he was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. Well, now we're running. And we're running. And we're running. It's not as bad when you can run. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Uh? Move your carcass and don't guard the gate. I... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff, or God forbid, Captain Bernard. Out! <laughs> Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. Get my green game glitch out here before, so I'm gonna save it. In fact, we're out of time for this video. Hope you all enjoyed, and have a good day.